Hello and welcome. What you are looking at is a picture of myself from an event that I did last weekend um, where I did science experiments for our kids. It was to uh, benefit the Elizabeth Glazier Pediatric AIDS Foundation, which some of you watched because I periscoped from there. And uh, I added the hashtag DannyCam. <laughs> <laughs> As you can probably tell, because it's the only lettering that does not have shadow uh, the shadow effect behind it. I did it on um, Photoshop, and even though I know how to do a shadow effect in a Word document, for some reason I didn't know how to do it on Photoshop. I just had this idea a few minutes ago, so maybe I'll have a chance to figure it out. In the meantime, uh, thank you for all uh, joining, and as you're joining, I want to see where you're all uh, joining in from. Oh, there's New York. Hey, Vin Nolan. I think you're friends with Ryan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so where are you guys, uh, coming in from? Um, is it, uh, still Brazil? I remember last time I had a lot of people from Brazil, which was really cool. And, uh, oh, I hope Bobby Shintasu that your video works soon. So, yes, I did the hashtag Halloween, which is why I'm getting bats. So cute. This is the last day, really, that one ought to be doing that. Maybe it's not even going to be available after this. Maybe it'll be turkeys or something. No video for you. Well, I, uh, okay, is, is anyone getting video? Is anyone able to see the image? Just say yes if you can see the image. I want to make sure. Hello from New Hampshire. Hello, look at all those hearts. Oh, wow. You guys are so nice. All right, so I'm not getting any yeses, which is a little bit concerning to me. Can anyone see the video? Because watching the science experiment will not be as interesting if you can't see the video. So, okay, say yes if you can see it and no if you can't. Hello, hello, crazy tattoo, what's up? Um, I know you guys can hear me. Key West, cool. I think you guys can hear me. How come nobody's saying yes or no? <laughs> say yes if you can see me and say no if you cannot. I wanna make sure you guys can see me. Well, not me, but my vision. My, I mean, my, uh, my image here. Brazil, another Brazil, that's so awesome. Salam, Australia. Turkey, St. Louis, Greenland. You know what? I think there might be a really long delay on this. Uh, Clayton, cool. Austin, Texas again. Hearst, Texas, St. Louis. This is great. All right, so I think what's happening is that there's a major delay. So um, I'm going to continue. Las Vegas, Nashville, Aurora, Edmond, Oklahoma. Very cool. All right, so without further ado, let's turn this screen around and go landscape mode. And... Let's get this on my little connector thingy. Make sure I'm not hitting any of the keys on the sides of the phone. Yes, 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 it works on and off. Uh, yes, you're good. Yes, yeah, there's like almost a minute delay here. Very interesting. So I'll keep that in mind as I do this. All right, so we're gonna make some Halloween goo. And um, bad connection, bad connection. Okay, so what's, well, okay, I'll do it, and then I'll, and then I'll do it quickly, and then I'll restart and do it again, just, just in case that helps, but I don't want to lose you guys. So, what is this? This is two ingredients only. It's cornstarch and water. You mix them together, and then what happens is you get this really interesting fluid. It's called a non-Newtonian fluid. And the reason is because it acts like a liquid at times, and at other times it acts like a solid, which is crazy. I'll show you here, I'll tilt down. Here we go. This is the non-Newtonian fluid, which is sometimes called oblique, I believe. That's what it's called. I should look that up. So as you can see, it looks kind of drippy. Not really sure what's going on here. You just make, it's, it's so cool. It's just this goo and kids love playing with this stuff. So if you, um, if you, if you're touching it or hitting it, it will act like a solid. Okay, check this out, look. Check this, check this out. Does that look like a solid or what? That's a solid. However, if I stick my finger in slowly, it actually oozes in and goes down into it as if though it's a liquid. But if I hit it, it's a solid. This is so super easy to do, it's ridiculous. It's two ingredients, cornstarch and water, that's it. What I like doing with this now is I'll like take a section of it up with a spoon and then make it into a ball, like just make it into a ball like that. Seems like a solid, like Play-Doh or something, but then put it in your fingers 
and starts to slowly melt. It'll actually melt and start dripping through your fingers, even though just a moment ago, it was like a solid. How cool is that? <laughs> she can actually even add even more water to it and the effect is uh, more dramatic. But this stuff is so great and you can add water to it um, to make it thinner. It, it has actually has like a range of um, thicknesses that this is actually great in. And then you can add food coloring too. Food coloring makes it colorful. However, it will stain your hands. So I'm, uh, I wouldn't eat it. No, I, I don't recommend that. I'm going to um, sign off since you guys are having such a hard time with the connection. And then I'll sign back on again and show you again um, how cool this stuff is. And I'm going to add some food coloring to it this time. And then uh, and see if the connection can get better and there's not such maybe a, a lag time this time around. And now my hands are covered on this stuff and I'm supposed to like touch my phone. I did not think this part through. All right. Well, it's just cornstarch. So how bad could it be, right? Okay, all right, it's actually better now. It's finally working. Well, now everybody's saying it's working. Maybe I won't stop? Okay, anyway, so I'll play with it for another minute here. And then I am going to um, put some food coloring in it to see what happens. I actually wanna add a little bit of water. You know what? I have water with me because I learned to always have water in case I wanna drink some water. So I'll just add a little bit, let's see what happens. Okay. You don't need to add very much water at a time. You just kind of mix it together. Again, this is so great to do with kids. Little kids just love this. It's so tactile and it's good for like babies. Although I will say, if you have a really young one, they won't appreciate how cool and strange this is because the entire world is like magic to them and say so they don't, it's like, yeah, so it's doing really cool things. It's a liquid, it's a solid, who knows? They don't know that it's supposed to be one or the other yet. <laughs> so if your child is a little bit older, they'll get more of a kick out of it. So even though I've added water, check this out. It's this crazy thing where you can hit it and it like acts like a solid, but then it kind of ripples out like a liquid. Oh, the ingredients, two ingredients, cornstarch and water. That's it. And seriously, you can get cornstarch at, I mean, in the baking section of any grocery store at all. And it's not expensive. It's really cheap and it's really easy and it's kind of creepy. So here we go. Let's try this thing again where I take it up and I make it into a ball. Okay. I'm going to just... The more pressure you put on it, the more it acts like a solid. And I'll explain why it's doing this too in a second. So see how it's like a solid, it's like a solid, it's like a solid. Wait, <laughs> they've added too much water, hang on. It's a ball, it's a ball. Oh, and it's melting completely. <laughs> Look at this. Is that not the coolest thing ever? And it's creepy. It's like creepy Halloween goo. So easy, so fast to put together. And it's totally addictive. And I'm telling you, adults love it. It's not just for us. For I was about to say for us kids. It's not just for kids. It's um, it's for any, anyone. All right. So I'm thinking maybe red food coloring because it's kind of creepy, like blood. However, it will turn the whole thing pink eventually. Okay. You tell me. Should we do um blue or red? And how do I make the bat hearts? If you put hashtag Halloween in the name of your broadcast, you'll get bats as well. You can also do hashtag World Series and get baseballs. Orange, wait, both, because we red, blue, red, red, res, I guess that means red, red, red. Okay, a lot of people are saying red. All right, orange, <laughs> purple. I only have, what do I have here? I'm making such a mess. These regular, this red, yellow, green, and blue. Blue, red, blue, red, mostly red. Okay, I'll do, I'll do a little of each. Well, I'll purple. So here's some red. Oh, it looks like blood. This is creepy. And the music I have playing in the background, by the way, is tango. Even though it's kind of, just because it seemed kind of creepy. All right. And here it is. Very creepy. This is scary. I don't know. And then, um, no one has asked how this works or why it works. But I'm going to answer that question as if you had asked. Because look at this. Look at this. So cool. Um, the reason why this acts like a liquid when you're moving slowly, but it acts, but it acts like a solid when you move fast is this. So the cornstarch molecules are much bigger than the water molecules. And, uh, imagine the water molecules are like these little balls and this cornstarch molecules are bigger. So when you move your finger slowly through it, the, it gives everyone a chance to move out of the way. So the water molecules and the cornstarch molecules all slide around each other. But when you go fast, the little water molecules just like sort of run away. It's like you're, you're forcing them away 
from from your force, and then what you're basically hitting is solid cornstarch molecules. So if you could see it, I'm sure that the inside of it, like if you take it when you're making a ball, you're compacting it, you're forcing all the water molecules into the center of the ball, and on the outside you're getting mostly cornstarch. So that's how it works. That's why it works. And you can see this is really creepy, cool Halloween goo. And there it is. Pretty awesome, pretty creepy, guaranteed to give your children several minutes of entertainment. So, there it is. I guess I don't need to restart it, but I will again just because I said I was going to and I'll do it very briefly again. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and I'll see some of you guys in a minute. Uh, you know, I'll put some blue in when I come back so we can mix the colors together and see what happens. And maybe in the meantime, so some of you who have cornstarch at home uh, could try this yourselves. I will see you guys. Oh my, I have such a hard time ending these broadcasts anyway. I never seem to get it quite right ending it with a button. So I'll have to see <laughs> if uh, I'm able to uh, end it with this stuff all over my fingers. Don't recommend this part. Okay guys, I'll come back in a few minutes and add some blue to it.